When you think of the World Cup, you probably think of this or this, maybe even this. And if you really know your stuff, then maybe this guy or, yeah, maybe even him. But what if I told you the most important city for the World Cup wasn't Rio or even up here in London or over here in Milan? What if I told you it was way over here, in a place you've probably never heard of, a place called Siyalkot, Pakistan? You'd never think it, but in this tiny little town, soccer is a huge deal. It started when British soldiers stationed here in the 1850s needed their soccer balls fixed. They took them to a local shoemaker who eventually learned how to make them on his own. The rest is history. Today, factories here produce up to 60 million soccer balls a year. The industry now so big it produces seven out of every 10 soccer balls in the world. We were given a rare look inside the Adidas factory that produces balls for some of the world's top leagues. Let's go inside. Including the Bundesliga, the UEFA Champions League, even MLS in North America. So please do not take photo of these balls. The designs of all these balls are very confidential. Some of the designs are so new, so top secret, we weren't even allowed to film them. But we were allowed to film this. It's called the Brazooka, the official World Cup soccer ball. So what makes the Brazooka so unique? Well, take a look. This is a regular soccer ball, usually made of around 32 hexagon-shaped panels, all of them stitched together. The Brazooka has only six panels. They kind of look like splashes of paint, and there are no stitches, only glue to hold them together. The design supposedly makes it one of the most aerodynamic balls in history. Here's how it's made, and please pay attention. The panels are cut, painted, baked, stamped, heated, stamped again, heated again to 150 degrees, glued, yeah, this part's pretty cool, put together, taped, blow-dried, inflated, put into this globe-shaped thingy, picked, inspected, wiped, polished, and weighed. <sighs> The process is so precise, there's hardly any variation from one ball to the next. And this is why that's pretty cool. So the ball that Lionel Messi will be kicking in the World Cup is the same that somebody could buy and play at home. Yep, it's the same. Same ball, same technology, same materials, everything is the same. Speaking of the same, watch this. Missed it? All right, we'll slow it down for you. This blur that you see is the ball being kicked at around 45 miles an hour. That's about the same speed as a guy like this. This is how the balls are tested here 5,000 times each to make sure they can handle the world's best strikers. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering about the climate, the balls are tested for that too. Take a look, this is a water tester, and as you can see, the ball is soaking wet. The ball's aerodynamics mean the rain drips right off, hardly anything is absorbed. And to test for heat, the balls are baked for seven days at 130 degrees. The power this game has football. It brings whole of the world together. And that is what this ball is. Of course, here in Pakistan, the ball represents something else. It's a chance to change the country's image. Look around. This is a huge success story. In Pakistan, many women can't work, but here, they're 40% of the workforce. Soccer has made this city so stable, it hasn't seen a single terrorist attack in years. Proof that the beautiful game really is doing something beautiful in the place where it begins. All right, now that we've seen how the ball is made, there's only one thing left, you know what it is. Let's see how it performs. Mohammed Leela, ABC News, Sialkot, Pakistan. It took me eight shots, but I got it in. Woo!